President Rodrigo Duterte believes that Ukraine has been left hanging in its fight or amid its fight against Russian forces. FPRRD and Pastor Apollo Sigibuloy also drew a comparison between the situation in Ukraine and the rising tensions in the disputed waters of the West Philippine Sea. Jade Calabroso reports. Former President Rodrigo Duterte believes that Ukraine has been left hanging, even though the conflict between Ukraine and Russia is not yet over. In the latest episode of Giket Samasa para Samasa, with Pastor Polo C. Kibaloy, the former president warned that if Ukraine is defeated, the situation for neighboring countries, which are also members of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization or NATO, would be perilous. Alam mo, si Putin naman, Ninenervyos kasi Ukraine and Russia nakadikit yan. Yeah, It's just, just, just if boundary. thin line boundary. Oh. Kagaya ng ating China Sea dyan pati ano. Mm. So, in his uh, maybe insecurity na talagang ano, or just also to challenge the might of the, the Americans, he purposely invaded Ukraine. Mm. Now, uh, U Ukraine was uh, helped by America early on sa itong panggulong ito. Kasi sila rin yung nag-ujok-ujok eh. Pa -pa join nato, join nato. Eh, Nag-init itong si Putin. Ngayon, sinusuportahan nila. To recall, on November 16, Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky admitted that his country has received fewer artillery rounds since the outbreak of the war between Israel and Hamas on October 7. According to Zelensky, the competition for receiving munitions from the U.S. has intensified between Ukraine and Israel. On November 18, Zelensky's presidential aide, Mykhailo Podolyak, complained about the slow delivery of Western weapons and admitted that Ukraine's counteroffensive operations against Russia is probably not proceeding to the extent or at the speed they would like. Meanwhile, the U.S. Congress has failed to advance discussions on a new funding bill for Ukraine. Ngayon, suddenly, in the thick of the fight, or pagano na siso na ang sitwasyon sa Ukraine, pati, eh, parang nagbigla na lang ang Amerika, nag, wala kaming budget na. For anybody, for that matter, wala na kami. Basta. So, naiwan sa area ngayon ng Ukraine. Uh, Ukraine has to fight and finance the war. I don't know from from what source, yeah. sana tulungan sila ng European countries. But if Ukraine falls, then Poland, Finland, doon sa itaes kan, Dinivian countries, medyo... Delikado sila. Meanwhile, the situation in Ukraine is compared to the tension brewing in the West Philippine Sea. And due to the ongoing global turmoil, former President Duterte believes that the United States cannot be relied upon in case a conflict breaks out. So, itong Amerika, uh, well, they, hindi naman pretend kasi talagang gumagastos, pero at what time would they abandon you? That is the problem. Mm. Mm. So, you cannot rely. Kaya nitong, nag-usap na si Biden, pati si, si Jinping. Si Jinping. Pagka nagkagulo dito, can we call upon the America mm, to forces to <laughs> join the fray here? Oh, oh. Yan ah, ang problema. Nagkasundo na eh. Dahil sabihin naman ni eh, Amerika, eh, maliit na bagay yan, eh, boundary lang yan. Bakit kami may kaalam? Eh, magkaibigan mm. na kami. No? Mm. Eh, yan ang problema. That is how it, how, mm. is how life uh, yes. makes it turn mm. around. Meanwhile, Pastor Apollo C. Kibaloy praised the foreign policy of former President Duterte towards China and again compared the diplomacy of the Philippines and the United States with that of China. So in your uh, administration, you made uh, a very wise move to uh, not agitate or anything that uh, will exacerbate the, the trouble. Naging kaibigan pa natin si Xi Jinping. At it has become a blessing to us na ngayon dinedemonize nitong mga ibang mga leader natin 
Eh, yung iba naman, tulad kay Biden, when he went, when uh, Xi Jinping went to attend the APEC, a eh, royal welcome sa Amerika. Gobern Newsom of, of, of California, napaka-royal welcome kay Xi Jinping, si President Biden, ninbay siya silang dalawa. Ito namang sa atin, eh, we are making a belligerent move against China and Xi Jinping. So, ito nga yung laro ng, ano eh, ng geopolitics. Meanwhile, former President Duterte has a message for President Bombo Marcos regarding the issue in the West Philippine Sea. Mr. President, if you want your citizens to fish there, mm. go ahead. Mm. Yung maraming mga isda dyan eh. Mm. Kulawak yung di Pilipino, mga isda rin. Oh. Yeah. Paano, ano lang? Kulang away? Mm. Because uh, what is the what is uh, what is uh, what is on the other side of the table? Mm. So what? what? We simply cannot afford it. So, oh. nanggaling talaga sa atin at kung kung baba. Oh. Kaya ako, istorya mm. lang. Mm. It can be remembered that PBBM and Chinese President Xi Jinping met on the sidelines of the APEC summit where the two presidents agreed that the problems regarding South China Sea should not be the defining element of the relationship between the Philippines and China. For God and my beloved Philippines, this has been Jade Calabroso, SMNA News.